hello friends welcome back to my channel i hope all of you are doing well so guys in today's video we'll see how we can import a resource from cloud to our terraform code so previously what we were doing we were creating using terraform code we were creating resources over cloud but now resource is already there on cloud and we want to get it managed using terraform so how we can do that so for that i have just taken an example of a resource group so one resource group is already created on cloud but it is created manually now we want to get it managed using terraform so how we can do it as of now in main there is nothing written and we don't have any state file so what we'll go we'll firstly go to documentation and of terraform and there we'll find the code related to resource group which we usually use when we create a resource group using code on cloud So this is basically the code of creating a resource group. So we'll copy this code first and we'll paste it in our main.tf file. But uh, the resource that is already created on cloud is having the name test IMP and its location is South India. So we just change it to the same because we want to get everything same, whatever is there on cloud so that it should get properly imported. So the name is test IMP and location is South India. Okay, so now uh, this is here. So firstly, what we do in case of Terraform, which we were doing previously also. Firstly, we need to do Terraform in it. So it will initialize the plugin related to Azure first and once those plugin will get download it will create a .terraform folder here and everything dependency is here in .terraform and it is also applying a lock to that version. So this is done. Now we are not seeing any state file. So this resource is unmanaged resource as of now but we want to get it managed using Terraform. So for that what we need to do if we will go to documentation if we scroll it down. So we need to run a terraform import command in order to get it managed using terraform. So in this command we need to use terraform import and after that we need to give a resource name and then the local name of the resource and after that we need to give id of that resource. So here it is resource group so we need to give id of the resource group. So what we'll do here uh, firstly let's do a terraform plan and let's see what it is going to perform as of now so if we'll go a terraform plan so here we are seeing that it is going to create a resource on cloud because this particular code is not aware that this particular resource group is already there on cloud so it will again try to get it created and it will get fail so what we need to do here we'll import that resource from cloud so we can use terraform import and then the resource name is this particular name so we'll copy it here then dot after that we need to give its local name so this is the name and then we need to give id of this particular resource group so how we will find it we'll go to cloud on this particular resource group we'll go and if we'll go to here on json view so the top one is the resource ID. We'll copy this ID and we'll paste it here. And then if we'll get it run, so let's see what it do. So now we can see it is saying import successful. And we are now seeing one state file here also where this particular resource is getting managed. So here, if we'll see the name of the resources, Azure resource group and its local name is example. So this is now done. And of sorry for the network connectivity issue. 
so uh, this is basically the local name of the resource and here we can see the name of the resource is here and the location is here so now this resource is getting managed by terraform as of now so how we can check that that it is now managed by terraform so we'll do some modification here suppose if we want to add some tag here so let's firstly check whether tag is there or not so if we'll go to json view so here we can see tag is blank now if we'll add any tag here and suppose if we can give any tag just like uh, any environment name we can give just like test and if we'll do a plan again so let's see what it do so now we can see it is changing one attribute so what it is changing it is now adding a particular tag to that resource and if we'll apply this change So now this tag will get applied to that particular resource group because this resource is now managed by Terraform. So let's give it a try. So it will take some time to get that tag added over there. So it is modifying the configuration and here we can see one changed. So now if we'll verify here by doing a refresh and if we go to JSON view so here we can see now tag is getting added so now this resource is under control of terraform and this resource we create manually but we'll destroy it using terraform so we'll use the same command and we'll replace apply with destroy or let's remove this auto approve so that we can see plan what it is going to do so if we'll do a terraform destroy here so let's show us some plan what it is going to do. So it is destroying this particular test IMP resource group from this location. And if we'll press yes, so it will perform that action. But this resource group was not created by Terraform. It was already created on the cloud. Now we are destroying it using Terraform. So guys, in this way, we can import any resource that is on cloud to our Terraform code, which usually when we work in projects, so this is the demand of most of the project there's some resource that are already there we need to get that import to our configuration so in this way we can do it so it is saying one destroyed so let's check whether that resource group is there or not so if we'll go to resource group we are not seeing any resource group so in this way we can import resources of already created resources on cloud in our terraform configuration file so guys if you like this video please give a like to the video and please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video